Hi, I'm Paul Troncone, co-author of the book Cybersecurity Ops with Bash. In the first chapter of our book, Carl and I discuss some of the ways you can leverage the power of the Linux command line directly from the Windows environment. One of my favorite ways of doing this is by using the Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL. WSL was introduced as part of Windows 10 and allows you to run an emulated or virtualized version of Linux natively within Windows. There are several Linux distributions to choose from, including Ubuntu and Kali. In order to use WSL, you need to begin by installing it, which is beyond the scope of this video, but I have included a link to Microsoft's documentation below. Once you have installed WSL and a Linux distribution, you are ready to go. For this demonstration, I will be using Ubuntu. To begin, open the Windows command prompt and enter the command WSL. To confirm you are on Linux, you can run the uname command. Also, the whoami command will confirm your username. You begin in the same working directory that you were in when you launched WSL, although the path will be reformatted to work with Linux as can be seen here using the pwd command. You can also install packages just as you normally would. Here I will install cowsay using the apt command. Once installed, I can run it as normal. As seen, you can fully drop into the virtualized Linux distribution, but you can also access the Linux commands directly from the Windows command line environment. I tend to find this an even better option. To begin, Let's exit out of the WSL Linux distribution and back into Windows. Once back in Windows, you can run a specific Linux command by first typing WSL and then the command you want to run. This command will be run in the Linux distribution, but the results will be outputted back to the Windows command prompt. This is pretty amazing. It means that you can freely run both Windows and Linux commands from the same prompt. You can also mix and match using redirection and piping. Here is a sample text file that exists in my Windows command prompt current working directory. You can redirect this file into the standard input of a Linux command by typing WSL, the Linux command you want to run, and then redirecting as normal. Here I use the file as input into the WC command to get the file's line, word, and character count. All of these features and techniques are also available to you in Windows PowerShell. That means you can easily write PowerShell scripts that integrate the power of both Windows and Linux commands. And there you have it. By using WSL, you can seamlessly combine the benefits of both the Windows and Linux environments to create truly astounding capabilities.